Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our next example of how to solve trigonometric equations. Now here, if you have watched the previous video, you may be tempted to write this out, to expand this out, but here we don't have to. We have another technique we can employ here because we're not multiplying or adding with anything else. It's just one trigonometric function, the cosine of 3 theta. What we can do there is substitute. Let x equal 3 theta and then substitute that in here. Now this equation looks like 2 times the cosine of x equals 1. We'll solve this equation and then substitute back to theta later on. This is a much easier way to approach it. So here we can first divide both sides by 2. We get the cosine of x is equal to 1 half. So now we're looking for the value of x that makes the cosine of x equal to 1 half. Remember on the unit circle, we have the y-axis here. We have the x-axis here. We're looking for two values for x such that when I take the cosine of that it's equal to one half. So it would be right there and right there. Uh, notice that this is um, the cosine of the angle and of course by using x I may have confused you a little bit. Maybe we should use something slightly different than x. Instead of x I'm going to use uh, phi, a different angle. Let's call it phi. Let's call this phi. Let's call this phi. That way, we don't confuse it with the x on the unit circle. So, I'm looking for an angle in such a way that when I take the cosine of that angle, I get one half. That's the x value of the point on the unit circle that would be right here. So, x equals one half. And actually, it's not this point right there. It's this point down here because at this point, the x value is also one half. So, these are the two points that I'm looking for. That means this is the angle. Call this phi one. And there's the other angle. Let's call this angle phi 2. Of course, that would be a negative angle. And if the angle is 60 degrees, if phi 1 is 60 degrees, the cosine of 60 degrees equals 1 half. So that means phi can equal 60 degrees, or phi can equal, I shouldn't say phi, I should say phi is a proper pronunciation, uh, minus 60 degrees. Of course, that's equal to uh, 360 minus 60 degrees or 300 degrees. So you can either use uh, 60 degree, uh, minus 60 degrees or 300 degrees as the solutions. If you want to convert that into radians, of course, 60 degrees is 2, one third, not 2 thirds, it's 1 third pi, so pi over 3, and this would be equal to 2 pi minus pi over 3, which is equal to 5 pi over 3. So this and this are the two answers in radians, this and this are the two answers in degrees. Now be careful, that's for phi, that's not for the original angle theta. Ah, all right. So the original angle theta, we have to go back to this relationship right here. We can say that theta is equal to phi divided by three. So on our one occasion, when phi was equal to 60 degrees, theta is equal to 60 degrees divided by three, which is equal to 20 degrees, and theta is equal to uh, minus 60 degrees divided by three, which is equal to minus 20 degrees. So these are the real answers for the variable theta, whoop, theta right there, which is, the ang which is the angle in our original problem. So the real solution, and let me make sure that we are clear on that, the real solution of course is this, and this, it's not the 60 and the minus 60, that's just the solution when I replace theta by phi, which means I'm actually looking for an angle of 20 degrees right here, which is theta 1, and minus 20 degrees right here, which is theta sub 2. Of course, I want to convert that to, um, to radians. 20 degrees is uh, 1 ninth of uh, pi, so that would be pi over 9 and this here would be minus pi over 9, or this is equal to 2 pi minus pi over 9, which is equal to 18 minus 1, or 17 pi over 9. So these are the ways in which I can express the angle in degrees and in radians. I'm just going to check real quick if I did this correctly. Um, 180 degrees is pi, 20 goes into 180 nine times, so it would be 1 ninth. 2 pi, that would be 18 minus 117. Yep, that looks correct. It was brought to my attention that uh, students watching this video may make this mistake. Remember how I converted from 3 theta to phi, or to phi, and then I converted back, 
And I did that by, of course, taking the original answers that I got to 60 degrees or minus 60 degrees and divided it by 3. But someone might say, well, why not take the 60 degrees and the 300 degrees and divide by 3 and get the answers for theta? And you cannot do that. For the first one, of course, you can. 60 degrees divided by 3 gives you uh, 20 degrees, which is the correct answer. But if you take 300 degrees and you divide by 3, you get 100 degrees. And if you go to the unit circle, 100 degrees is just past the 90. That would be this angle right here. That's a 100 degree angle. And we're looking for the cosine of that angle, which gives you this value right here, which is not equal to 1 half. So that cannot give you the right answer. So you always have to be careful. It's always a good idea to look at the unit circle and to realize that when I have 3 theta, the answer is here and down here. 1 theta, I divide that angle by 3, so I take 60 degrees divided by 3 gives me 20 degrees, or I take negative 60 degrees divided by 3, I get negative 20 degrees. So look at the unit circle and make sure you convert back in the proper way. That's how we avoid from making these mistakes. So don't do it like that.